because I'm a 50-year political activist, I know what it means when stadiums are coming. It doesn't mean anything productive for neighborhoods. It always perils the beginning of gentrification. They're coming over here buying up cheap, okay? Buying it cheap. I'm telling you, they they, they whooping it up cheap. And uh, then they uh, throw us out. There's no other place that I want to live because this is home. So I'm preparing to go to visit my grandmother in the women, Denver Women's Correctional Facility. And I am freaking out. <laughs> when I was two, my, my grandmother, her mother, would take me to visit her on the weekends. I knew where she was at all, you know. The only time I didn't know where my mom was is when she was in the streets. When she's in jail, I know where she's at to this day. From two years old till, well, how old am I, 39. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's just hard on the family. I'm sure it's hard on uh, my daughter, but it is hard on my, my family, my grand, her children, and my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren. Hard on everybody in the family. It affects all of us. This is Officer Bray from Denver Women's Correctional Facility. We received your application and we went ahead and got it approved. So if you are trying to visit this weekend, you can do so. Thank you. change for all humanity. You know, it really is. And not just specifically African American communities. I mean, the example of what black women and who we are and our humanity and our consideration, our hospitality, our concern, our intelligence, our, you know, brilliance, our sensuality, our forgiveness. You know, it has, it has saved us all these generations, and now it is present to do the same. Here forward, always, and forevermore. We just want everybody to, um, to know it. <laughs>